your work, your transactional work in Washington, the fiscal ebbs and flows of Washington. Is Chairman Powell going to be greatly hindered by the fiscal expansion we've seen from President Trump? Well, there's no doubt that it's a challenge when you have the kind of deficits we have. We're running a $900 billion deficit probably this year, next year, maybe $1.2 trillion. Moving quickly. And we could see $2 trillion annual deficits if we don't get the growth rates that the uh, government is projecting. So we have $21 trillion of debt now, and we could in a decade have over $35 trillion of debt. So that's something that the Federal Reserve has to worry about. Right now, I don't think the Wall Street uh, traders and bond people are as concerned about it as maybe they will be in a year or so, or maybe six months. You never know when these things will um, come back to haunt you. But right now, it's something to watch, and clearly the Fed is worried about it. Hi, David. Good morning from London. So it's interesting that we keep racking up debt like this. And I don't know if you guys are Republicans or Democrat. For me, like, I don't really care. It's different toilet, same shit. Because uh, the reason I say this is uh, we keep just increasing our debt. So obviously, we had Bush. Obama comes in, uh, increases the debt or reduces the deficit, whatever, whatever Obama did. But then we get Trump, and Trump is supposed to cut spending, right? You'd think a Republican would come in and reduce the spending, but he outspends Obama. And what he's mentioning, uh, we could see a $35 trillion debt load for the U.S. economy, which is just an absolute joke. But what he just said, it's they're kicking it down, they're kicking this issue uh, down the road because, you know, Trump is going to be reelected in two years. So if the debt can keep going up, and as long as there's no market crash, he's going to get reelected. He doesn't care, you know, what's going to happen in six, six years, seven years, or however we're going to get out of this debt. And like I said, if we don't get this GDP growth from the the tax cuts, it's going to be even worse. So, um, like I said, what what is this relating to crypto? Um, I do fi highly believe that cryptocurrencies long term will be a great asset to hold if we keep racking up debt. Um, maybe not in the short term, and like they, they've mentioned, it, it, we do need to uh, make it where the Wall Street people actually care, and uh, that might not be this year, and that's why cryptos might be a bad investment for another year or two, but eventually this debt is going to create massive turmoil in the real estate market, stock market, bond market, and when that does happen, I do believe crypto prices will go up and crypto holders will be uh, very happy that they were holding crypto, but let me know what you guys think about this, and I will talk to you guys soon.